Hi, welcome to this RB75 tutorial for the AJS37 Vigit. To start off, we need to select the RB75 hardpoints. To do that, we're going to rotate this knob to RB75. Next, we're going to... Actually, we don't have to do this. If we want, we can actually fire these from navigation mode simply by lifting the trigger safety. However, I'm going to go ahead and switch to attack mode, which will bring up the can... Uh, the camera even with the trigger safety off. Actually, I take it back. I'm going to send it back to navigation. Now, we need to look at a couple controls. Now, if we go down to weapons controls, there's a few important ones. Actually, I take it back. It's not weapons, it's radar. So, the, um, eight the Mavericks, basically, the Swedish Mavericks, are going to use the same controls as the radar. We're going to use T0 fix, T1 fix, and TV fix. T0 fix is going to bore sight the missile. T1 fix is going to make it salubable. And TV fix is going to actually lock the target. Now, we can lock a target straight from bore sight mode if we want by just doing T0 and then TV. However, if we want to slew the seeker head around, we can do T1 fix and then use our radar stick controls, which I have to a hat here, just like in the navigation tutorial, to uh, slew it around. So, my ships are right here and should start shooting at me very soon. There they are. I think I want to target this guy, so I'm going to bring up the Maverick. We can see here a little dot there that represents the bore sight. We can come over here, look through our camera. And for this first one, I'm just going to bore sight it. Press the lock button, and it's locked. And I have a missile inbound, that is not good. Firing and evading. Now to cycle to the next missile, you need to uh, re-engage the trigger safety and then open it back up to fire the next one. That's a hit. Not sure it killed him, but it definitely hit him. Now, I do have three more missiles available to me, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. Now, of course, these are just ordinary Mavericks, so they can be used against any targets, uh, any surface target. They can be used against tanks, bridges, buildings, ships. I'm doing ships here simply because it's the mission I had. Where'd they go? There they are. No, that guy's still alive, so I'll go ahead and hit him again. Again. Locked up. Firing. Trigger safety. Trigger safety back off. T0 to bore sight it. It was already bore sighted, but this time I'm going to go ahead and um, slew it, so I'll press T1. Now I can move it around. Target next ship. Lock. Fire. Break off. And trigger safety back on. I think I have one missile remaining. Both missiles hit. And we'll go ahead and do it one more time. Actually, I'll go ahead and d demo the... Um, the slew control. You can see me slewing it around there. And then I can press the Boresight button, T0. Never mind. For some reason, it's not working. I have no idea why T0 isn't working, but apparently it's not. Might be a bug. That's not good. In the event you haven't noticed, this is quite a touchy airplane, and it does like to black you out. 
So we'll go back here. No kills so far. Just wounded him. I'm going to go ahead and put it in attack mode. That might be why the uh, foresight isn't working. Slow it around. Yep, that's why Boresight didn't work. It's because I had it in navigation mode. Or I had, yeah, navigation mode. If you put it in attack, you can still Boresight it. Being fired on. Last missile away. And evading. But it's going to be close. So yeah, that is how you use the RB-75 Maverick. The particular ones I use were the T variant, which I honestly couldn't tell you how they are different from the uh, RB-75A. It's my understanding the RB-75B is basically an AGM-65B, which has um, a little more zoom on the camera, but is otherwise identical. So hopefully this helps. Um, thanks for watching.